Creator of Nike, Phil Knight, is from around where I live, Beaverton, Oregon. Just like how the man who created The Simpsons, Matt Groening, is also from around where I live, in Portland, Oregon, and Springfield, Oregon. First thing I want to talk about are these um, blazers that I got. They're the, the latest blazers here. They're the 77s, high tops, and. Throughout my life now, I've had uh, kind of a lot of blazers. I've probably had around five or six pairs now. Um, this is probably my sixth or seventh pair. So I had five or six before this. This is probably my sixth or seventh. But taking a look at the shoe here, first of all, they brought back the foam tongue. So for a while, they got rid of the foam tongue on the shoe. And I don't know why they did that really, but they did. <clears throat> but now it's back, so it's awesome. Because the thing is, it's like, I guess they did it because it's not as good as whatever the, they made it out of basically the same material as the rest of the shoe. But it's retro, you know, that's how it used to be on the real shoe that was like that in the 70s. And so, that's why I like it to be like that, you know, it's, it's kind of it's kind of unique, you know, and it's it's retro, you know. You guys know I love retro stuff, so these, that's why I've always loved these shoes, you know. Whenever I went to the Nike store, I'd always pick out a pair of blazers or, you know, something similar, you know. And of course, you got Nike written on the back. So, you know, that's something that I really love about these shoes. You got Nike written in just like normal font, pretty much. And then you also have this vintage Nike logo on the foam tongue. I mean, that is awesome. I think even the pair that I have before this that didn't have the foam tongue, I think it also said Nike SB in regular, regular like Nike, like um, this, you know? I think it said it like that. It's hard to see, but. But I like the vintage Nike logo, it's sweet. Something else of note about these blazers is that they've added an extra piece of the shoe here and here. And the old blazers that they used to make just like a few years ago didn't have this piece here and here. And I don't believe the original blazers had this piece here and here. So I don't know why they added that now. I suppose that's my only gripe with the shoe, but it's hardly noticeable, so it doesn't really matter that much. But I really love the red with the white swoosh. I've actually already had a pair of blazers with the red and the white swoosh. So now I just want to go over some shirts that I've had over the years that I think are pretty cool. So the first one I'll show you guys is the mouse shirt. I say it's the Jerry shirt because it looks just like Jerry, you know? This is a cool one, and it's a nice, uh, um, what is that? Not long sleeve, but like mid sleeve, I guess you could say, shirt. And I like to wear another shirt over this. That's kind of nice, you know, another t-shirt. So that's why, it, and, it, and then you can't see the stains, right? So that's still a good shirt. Here's some uh, sweat shorts. These are awesome. You know, it's because it, they're—it's not like they have like any like logos. They're just plain shorts, you know. But they got some—they got a nice uh, zipper on the back here. See? Oh yeah, it's pretty awesome. And just uh, the thing about this stuff is like a lot of these I got like years ago, you know. So they're—they've been discontinued, of course. And so it's kind of cool. Yeah. Got some pants. I still wear these a lot. I'm 
I'm actually missing the button on them, but I just put a belt on and it works. I'm thinking about getting the button out of the, out of the back pocket. Because, uh, who uses that? Yeah, I said shirts. We're going to do all the stuff that I have that's Nike skateboarding. But, here's some long pants of the same type of thing that I just showed you, but it's uh, in the gray color. I have a sh uh, another pair of shorts that are like that. Ooh, this is a cool shirt here. Here we have the Jaguar print. Now this is awesome. So first you got the Jaguar right there. Then you got a nice big Jaguar on the back. Ooh. That is a great one. I love that one because actually I had this like super crappy Jaguar and uh, it's uh, so I wore that. I thought it was cool at the time, but it's a bad, it's a bad car, you know. Um, so I actually have two pairs of these shorts. These are nice. I wear these all the time. They're just great kicking around shorts. And actually the shorts that I'm wearing at the moment are the same kind. But they're, um, but they're, uh, got the Hawaiian print that matches, um, my sweatshirt here. I just got these the other day. That's how I thought to do this video, actually. It's when I went to the Nike store again. I haven't gone in a while. That's why a lot of these shirts that I got are, like, really old. But they're, they still fit me, though, probably always fit me, which is cool. Get rid of that. Here we have awesome shirt. I love this. It, it's hard to kind of see, but like, there's like white dots on it. And then here, got Nike skateboarding across the, the arms. And it's one of those uh, mid-sleeve t-shirts that I was taught mid-sleeve, you know. I don't, I don't know if that's the right term, but that's what I'm going to say. Uh, another pair of those shorts. Oh, this is a great shirt. So here, we have the same type of deal as that one shirt I was telling you about. The, the first mid-sleeve that we saw, um, it has that same arm pattern, but then it's a short sleeve, but it also has these buttons on it. That is a nice one. I like this one a lot. We'll go over some more of these. This isn't Nike skateboarding, but it's a good shirt. Kind of looks like a like a convict classic convict um, suit pattern. Here's uh, some long pants that are um, like the gray ones that I showed you, but they're black and they actually have these little light. Um, looks like they're almost like blue or some other lighter color, uh, like pluses on them. Pluses. They all look like a bunch of pluses. On them. This one here is pretty cool. It's got a dog with a sparkler on it. Oh. I have a couple pairs of these camo shorts, but in different colors. These are like the uh, desert camo color, the tan camo. These are cool. And they both have these uh, special belt things that go through them, which are kind of cool. And if you uh, take them out, they'll get lost, so you got to leave them in there. Here's the other pair of those. Oh! This belt is lost. You can use a different kind of belt though, it's okay. You just have to use a smaller belt, you have to go find a small belt. Here we have another one with a pretty big stain. I actually have a green one of these and I couldn't find it. I think I've worn it in a video before though. But. We have the Nike skateboarding logo, and actually, we gotta um, take note of this because it says right here, since 2001, right? Okay, well, keep that in mind, since 2001, okay? Because later on, in fact, actually, you know what? I'll find the shirt right now. We have a different shirt here, right here that contradicts what that is saying. And here it says EST 2002, established in 2002. So, um, I don't know what's going on there, 
And uh, anyways, I don't remember Nike skateboarding coming around until like, I remember when it came out because before Nike skateboarding was Nike 6.0. So that was the skateboarding section of Nike. So maybe, that, maybe they just count that as Nike skateboarding? But uh, maybe, or maybe that's why these uh, dates are kind of uh, hazy. I don't know. But I don't remember Nike skateboarding being around the whole time because it, was, it used to be Nike 6.0. I remember Nike 6.0.